Keep our wedding guest list below 250. <laughs> it's Steven Laura time. Let's go. Come on. They're planning. They're planning their wedding. Planning their future, baby. Here's the name we can cross off. Oh, no. Pineapple Cecil. They're mm. getting me an Uncle Wedding without Uncle Cecil. Mm. Okay. Isn't he the one who draws a face on his stomach and then makes his... Belly button talk. Oh gosh. Oh no, that's our Miriam. Oh gosh. It doesn't stop. Cecil the one who shoves paint up his nose and sneezes portraits. Uh, Lord, you know what? You you know, if you want to rethink <laughs> because like they, these are about to become your relatives, you know what I'm saying? Your bloodline about to start. You might know, but she loves him too much. She loves him. Mm -hmm. I bet he's very prolific during cold and flu season. Uh huh. Right, right. Yeah, that's when he does landscape. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Steve, I don't see your parents' name on this list. Oh, I called mm. them in Moscow, and they said they would be busy on our wedding day. Wow. Busy? Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Like what havoc. Their favorite episode of the Mod Squad is coming on. Of course, over there, it's called Modski Squadski. Oh. <laughs> see, this is all my point that I'm saying. So, you got Steve's parents, who want the biggest thing in his life is about to happen and they can't come because they want to watch a television show. This is what I'm trying to tell you though. Laura gonna Laura gonna be that double for his trouble. I'm trying to tell you. Well I, I guess that's two less badger fillets we have to pay. <laughs> I like the eye contact, Laura. Fillets. <laughs> uh, Laura, there is something something else I'd like to bring up. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. But you know Laura Someday you're going to meet the right guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he'll make you feel special too. Right, right, right. And he won't be lying. He'll really love you and you'll really love him. We just got to go back, y'all. Because the richness, the richness, okay? We just got to go back. And then you know what will happen? We'll have sex? No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll get married. Right. Oh, well, well, sure. That, that, that goes without saying. What's a hit? <laughs> I like to hear those words. I'm your mother. Right, right. We'll get married first. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Two, proposal. Uh huh. Step three, wedding. Uh huh, yep. Step four, wedding night. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, Stan. I'm just as anxious as the next guy. You know, we again, like I said, we got to go back and look at their rich history. But, you know, Steve on is genuine, right? He's, he's, he's on his anxiousness but right But I want to wait. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want my wedding night to be special. Right. It's a long-standing Urkel tradition mm -hmm. to wait three months before consummating the marriage. Mm -hmm. But Steve... Okay, okay, okay. You got me out of That wasn't hard at all. Man, look. The, you got to peep game to why Steve is doing this, right? That's why we had to go, you know, we had to go down memory lane. You know, Steve has been talking about the wedding night for a very long time. He's just doing this right now because he wants to see if Laura is just as eager as he is. And she is, Steve. She is, Steve, huh? <laughs> Hello, are you Steve Urkel? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Buzz Conrad! Mm. The famous astronaut? <gasps> wow, I can't believe I'm actually shaking hands with a man who walked on the moon! <laughs> Do you mind if I come in? Well, sure! Come on in! Meet my honey, Laura Winslow. Laura Winslow, Buzz Conrad. How do you do? It's very nice to meet you. Great to meet you. <laughs> what the name of William Shatner are you doing here? William Shatner. Yeah. Steve, I have very exciting news. Mm. The International Space Program has chosen you mm. to be the first student in space. Oh, oh. oh wow. Uh, uh, get him, Laura. <laughs> Gee whiz. Look at Laura smiling at him. <laughs> Boy's out. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my God. I fainted in front of Buzz Conrad. I'm so embarrassed. Of course, you probably fainted when you found out you were going into space. Mm. No. <laughs> Bring lift up? No. Bring entry? No. You never fainted? Just once. <laughs> when I watched an episode of Homeboys in Outer Space. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, that, that wasn't a good one, no. <laughs> <laughs>
That's not a good one. <laughs> you said they did it in unison again? I love it. So, why'd you pick Steve? Well, the space program had a national science contest, and mm. Steve's entry won first place. All right. You mean, you mean you like the Urkel AGF 5000? Urkel mm. AGF 5000? Yeah, AGF stands for Artificial Gravity Field. You see, hmm. I worked up some equations that, in theory, should produce gravity in a weightless environment. Steve, okay. we're building okay. a prototype of your invention right now, and we want to test it in space with you aboard. Now, we just got to peek. Look at look at this. <laughs> look at Lord, like, for real? And look at Steve. But this is, this is I, I love this because remember what Laura told her parents, that I think one of his inventions will, can, will, you know, eventually or can change the world. And so what's happening now? Uh-huh. Laura, girl, you always right. You know what's up. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm the man. We'll uh, need you to train in Houston for six months. I'm not the man. Oh, oh. What? Let me switch on you quick. Let me switch on you quick. Yeah. Well, my sweetie and I are scheduled to be hitched in two months. And we've already booked the care, the mm. church, the hall. I even hired a cheese sculptor to do I like this in Belvita. See, we're kissing in a sea of crackers. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, them chemistry kisses, boy. Them chemistry kisses got them. Uh-huh, you gonna make a sea of crackers doing it, uh -huh. I see. Yep. Excuse us for one minute. Mm. Sure. Steve, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Mm. But Lara, so is marrying you. We got the pause, y'all. We get this is this is the essence of Steve and Laura right here, right? Where Laura is already telling Steve, like, bro, you can't pass this up, regardless to how it affects me. And Steve is like, I can pass that up because I don't want to pass you up. Dude, what are we seeing that we've been seeing with Steve and Laura? Sacrifice, right? That it's because they got so much practice. When these things, these big, these are life altering kind of things. Now, when these things come, they know how to handle it. Oh, I love it. I can hitch before you change your mind. That's not gonna happen. Look, we'll just postpone the wedding until after you return from space. Mm, that's no so wonder I love you so much. Uh huh. <laughs> Buzzy. <laughs> now just just look it out. Just look look at look at the smile on Laura's face. Uh huh. Count me. I'll go on one condition. Hmm. I get to steer the space shuttle. No. Pop the horn. No. Play the light? No. Hi, Chuck. <laughs> do you? <laughs> you like this guy? <laughs> Look, Steve is not the one to strike a deal with at all. He's, he's going to lose everything. He's going to lose all your stuff, huh? <laughs> Man, this is just, oh, gosh. You know, but uh, it's just, y'all, it's just so much. I'm just so, I'm just so proud of just the, the people that they have become. Because this, this scene is the essence of Stephen Lord, right? It's what we have been watching them do throughout their whole lives pertaining to each other. It's putting each other first. It's sacrificing. Stephen Lord, you know, it looked like it was maybe a waste, right? Because they're doing it in a friendship and, you know, Laura's dating this guy and Steve's over here doing whatever. But it just really kind of, it, it, to me, it pointed me to make me look at, look at God like, wow. You know, I think it was uh, Torrin Wells that said, you know, uh, um, you know, God never loses a battle, but he also, it was, it was this thing that I was watching. He says that God never wastes a battle, you know? So when you look at it with, with, with them, it's like all that stuff, man, all the, those hard times I, I told you friendship, you know what I'm saying? Like, like is, you know, on, on weak support, not even life support, just is, is weak. You know what I'm saying? Lord ready to throw everything away and all, all these different type of things. Myra's coming into play. Here comes Stefan. And, and all these things came to shake them, but it didn't break them. They're still right here standing with each other engaged. You know what I'm saying? Getting ready to start the, the most beautiful and prosperous part of, of their lives, but they still got to deal with this adversity. They still have to deal with that, you know, with this level of sacrifice. And that's what I got from it. It's like none of those battles that they went through, none of that stuff that they went through was wasted. It's four times like now, you know, and we can just be encouraged in that as well. Like, wow, I'm going through this with my mom. I'm going through this with my brother. I'm going through this with my husband. I'm going through this with my wife, whatever it may be. And it can feel like things are being wasted. But if you stay the course, it will benefit you later. That's why I would always say, and you can see through, you know, Stephen Laura, that when you make it on the other side of adversity, it benefits you. That's why nobody could come between this because they're, they're working through, you know, adversity 
And it, it's it not only building them and strengthening them, but it's connecting them, right? It's, 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 you know, they have more of an understanding. You put some work in some stuff. You're like, look, you're about to come mess this up. Lord, Lord was willing to throw Steve away for relationships, but you saw that stopped pretty quick. I think by what, fourth season? Jimmy with Jimmy talking crazy, bro. You can step You're talking, talking, you know, uh, about Steve crazy. Right. And that's when you started to see at that point, Laura was not going to allow anything or anybody to come between Myra pops up. You know, she want them hands, Laura. You know what I'm saying? She want them hands. And Laura was about to show enough her, right? Laura has shown that like, no, 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 no. You're not coming between us. I look, this is too much work. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just so beautiful to, to see that now that not every woman, um, and y'all know that Whitney Houston song, but not every woman will be able to sacrifice like this. This isn't a week. This isn't two weeks. This isn't a month. This is six months for y'all that don't know, but I know all y'all know because y'all just are the most intelligent, beautiful people, right? But six months, guys, is half of a year. It's half of a year. And that's just the training. So if we estimate, we're looking at, they're probably going to put their marriage back by a year. Laura's going to put her kind of life on hold for like, what, six, seven so months. That is a lot. But it, but all the stuff that they've been through prepared them for this moment. And this is why they were never, ever, ever, ever supposed to be with anybody else but each other, encouraging him to go towards it. And you see the, the weight lifted off Steve when, when he had Laura's support. You see Laura push him like, you better, you better go, boy. You better go, boy. You know, it's just so beautiful. But anyway, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.